everybody, this is Carlos. I'm with Maria, the green chicken lady, and she's going to talk. There's a sign. She's going to tell us about what she does with her chickens and um, how good they are, because they are good. Yeah, so whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, I do a lot of green fairs, green events. Uh, sometimes I go to schools mm -hmm. and I teach about green gardening with your chickens because they're a very green pet to have. Yeah. Uh, they just fill a really perfect cycle of giving you waste. And their waste can be used as fertilizer. Um, they're great for eating your leftover food. And they are omnivores. And then they give you eggs too. So they're really a perfect green pet to have. And how... Um how many chickens do you have? Are these representative of the ones that you have back? Or do you have? I have six chickens. Six? Okay. Um, I only brought five today. Okay. Uh, I left the one girl inside because I think she's going to lay an egg. Anyway. Oh, okay. Um, the couple of them already laid eggs today, and I have okay. a couple of eggs there to show that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have all different chickens. I have six. Each one is different so that I can show that chickens come in all different sizes, colors, different personalities as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And of course, some people want them for meat. Some yeah. Some people want them just as pets, and some people want them for eggs. Are any of these destined for meat? Are they? Not they're one of them is really no, big. because okay. I teach with them. Okay. Yeah. So I go to uh, nursing homes as well, and they're okay. very therapeutic okay. to have. All right. And um, and also I've been told that autistic children oh. respond very well to them, and I've seen it in some of my events. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. All right, great. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. That's Maria, the green chicken lady. All right.